In the previous video, we sketched a number of different examples of modulus graphs. Here's another one. y is equal to mod of x minus 3 minus 5. So, what we noticed is that we can use our understanding of graph transformations in order to position this graph. So this, we can see, is a translation of the original graph, y is equal to mod x, a translation by the vector 3 minus 5. So 3 minus 5, so it would be down here. And that would be the uh, vertex, if you will, of this modulus graph. Okay? We could then uh, look at where this is crossing the y-axis, so that's when x is 0, and we get modulus of minus 3, which is 3, take away 5 is minus 2. We could also work out where it crosses the x-axis, okay? But for the moment, really, in this video, what I want to identify is that we were able to figure out where the vertex should be just from this graph, or from this equation. And we're looking here for the vertex. Now, this should hark back to memories from uh, core 1, uh, when we looked at the equation of a quadratic graph in completed square form. So, y is equal to x minus 3 all squared, take away 5, for example, is a quadratic where the vertex is at 3 minus 5. You can read it straight off from the equation. And it's exactly the same here, 3 minus 5. And this really helps when sketching modulus graphs. So keep an eye out for that.